looks like I have found a pretty good sized puffball mushroom outside of my mother's house sitting by a tree. So this is my hand. See it's about as big as a softball. It's nice and heavy. Feels full. So I'm going to cut into it and see if it looks like a puffball on the inside. Okay, this looks like well, that's what we've got. Looks like bread on the inside. It's moist and spongy. Here in just a few minutes, what I'm going to do is clean it up good and then slice it up, saute it. Oh, I've got shortening in the skillet. Got them all sliced up about a half an inch thick. I'm going to fry them up in the shortening and when it cools I'll put them in the freezer. Bread, they should just be lightly fried or they'll burn or something. They'll come apart. So I'll we'll start laying them in here. Do this two or three at a time. Fry them just a little bit. The, the mushroom smells really good. It has a very earthy smell. The smell you'd expect from mushrooms. A little lightly brown, maybe. I'm bring it right back. Yes, with them once. They're lightly golden brown. I don't know. It might be hard to tell on this. They're light golden. I just want to barely cook them. I'll bring you back when I get the rest of them done. It didn't take long. It's one little end piece still in the skillet. This is what the root end looks like. It's just a little nubbin. It doesn't have a real stem on it. Uh, puff balls don't have... I think I've got this right. I'm pretty sure and I know I am. Anyway, puff balls do not have a poisonous look like. When you uh, lift them off the ground, it's just going to be that little nubbin of a root. It won't be a long stem. And when you slice into them, they'll be white, a little bit spongy, and they look like white bread. A little piece off. They cooled a little bit. I wanted to be able to eat it. Cut a little piece off. I'm going to taste it. It's fried plain. There's no salt and pepper or anything. It may need some salt. Let me see. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. That's really good. Um, if I had had some butter, that would have made them even better. But that tastes really good, y'all. And they're very tender. i cut that one off with a knife. Let me see if the edge of a fork will cut it. Yeah, that's how tender it is. Take another bite. Mm. They are very good. I'm going to let these cool real well, and then uh, when they're completely cooled, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to put them in a freezer bag and stick them in the freezer so that when I go home, I don't know if I mentioned I'm up at Mom's, found this out in her yard under a tree. Anyway, oh, that's really good. When I go home then, we can have a meal with them. At least it, it can be a side dish. It's only one. It's the only one I've seen out here. But maybe uh, we can go looking for some more when I get home. All right. Appreciate you watching. Uh, thank you so much for anything that you put in the tip jar. That helps tremendously. It helped me get my gas to get up here to be with Mom for a few weeks. And uh, Mom is 97 now, so... Every minute spent with her is important. Anyhow, thank you so much for the donations to the tip jar. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment. Tell me if you hunt forage for wild mushrooms. And I'll be adding some still pictures to this so that you'll kind of know what to look for. Have a good night.